What if there was a Pokemon that was kind of like Eevee, but it was much more dog-like and had nine different evolutions based off the types that Eevee doesn't have? This Pokemon is Puppy, and it was made as a collaboration between me and SB Fakemon on Instagram, so make sure to go check them out. You probably already noticed that Puppy's name is a reference to Eevee, and our main goal with the design was just to have it look super adorable, just like Eevee is. You may also notice that Puppy has a really interesting collar featuring multiple different colored gems to represent the different types that it can evolve into. The first of the Puppy Lucians is Quakenine. It's pure ground type, and I love the design that SB came up with, this long hair and rock Rocky body looks super cool, and you'll quickly notice that the Puppy Lucians are quite different from the Eevee Lucians because they are based off the physical attacking type. So overall, they have much more grounded and natural feeling designs that I think makes them a lot different from the Eevee Lucians, and they turned out amazing. The second Puppy Lucian is Puppercut. I was pretty proud when I came up with that name. It's obviously a combination of the word uppercut and puppy, and I really love this design. Again, there's a lot of cool things going on here. First off, it's a boxer, which is a breed of dog and and a combat sport that fits into the whole fighting type. It also has built-in boxing gloves on its hand, built-in headgear on top of its head, and it sort of resembles that one meme that's like how he felt after saying that, that one dog. The third puppy Lucian is a pure dragon type, which is crazy, and its name is Drock Doge. And to come up with that name, I took the German word for dragon being Drocken and combine it with the word Doge. And that's because this animal is based off a German shepherd. And this was a really cool part about the puppy Lucians as well. We end up with all these different dog breeds that come from different parts of the world. So we're really able to represent all these different cultures a little bit in the designs, which I think is super cool. And this design, by the way, is amazing. The blue with the red looks super cool. It's got enough dragon elements to feel like a dragon, but it's not super over the top. It's not like a dragon dog. It's a dog with dragon elements, which again speaks to the more grounded designs that the Puppy Lucians have. The fourth Puppy Lucian is pure ghost type, and its name is Mott Mutt. And Mott is the Egyptian word for not being alive, which goes really Really well with this design because it's based off Anubis, the Egyptian god. And Anubis is based off a jackal, which is in the canine family. So this all works really well. And this design is probably the most fantastical of the Puppy Lucians, which does make it stand out in a great way. I especially love the colors of these different wrappings. SB always just does amazing with the colors. The fifth Puppy Lucian is Were Wild, and this is a Rottweiler mixed with the word beware, like beware of dog, because this is a pretty vicious looking animal but it still looks pretty nice. You'll notice these large spikes around the neck, and that would normally be part of a collar on a real life dog, but on this Pokemon, it is just the fur of the animal, which is super cool. And it also has these really sharp metal teeth that look like they would tear you to shreds. But again, he still looks nice in the face. He's smiling. The sixth puppy Lucian is pure flying type and its name is Cloodle. Obviously it's based off a French poodle, which I think is so smart because poodles typically have very puffy hair. So to turn that hair into clouds was a great way to do a flying type. Also, this design is pretty feminine, which I think was really cool to add to these evolutions as a whole, because I always like when one Pokemon has that energy, so people who want that sort of design could evolve it into Cloodle, which I think is always a great option to give players. The seventh Puppy Lucian is pure bug type, and its name is Mushiba, which is a combination of the Japanese word for bug being Mushi, and Shiba, which is a Japanese breed of dog. Again, I love how we were able to have these different cultural references, and originally, I didn't even want to do a bug type because I thought it would be too hard to make it a very grounded design like the Puppy Lucians are supposed to have, but SB did a great job making this look like just, again, a dog with its typings elements and not over the top. It looks really good, it's absolutely adorable, and it's not too much. The eighth Puppy Lucian is Rock Type, and its name is Scruff Hound, and this design is supposed to resemble an old mining dog. That's why its fur is very dark. It looks like it's covered in coal or just general dust. It also has this really cool built-in headlamp with a nice yellow color that makes it stand out a lot, and just just like Cloodle, I feel like this adds a personality to the Puppy Lucians, where this dog is very old. And as the owner of a 19-year-old dog myself, I really like this design. Here's my Scruff Hound, 19, still kicking. What are you in human years, like 1 billion? All right, you can go. And the ninth and final Puppy Lucian is Show Loco. Now this animal is based off the Mexican hairless dog, also known as a Sholo Esquintle. So we combine that name with the word Loco, which is Spanish for crazy, because this dog has rabies. We were trying to think of how to do a poison type dog, and a dog with rabies just seemed to make sense because that's kind of poison for dogs. And instead of foaming at the mouth, we gave it this really cool green mist that kind of does reference foam, but it's not. And it just stands out so well with this purple 
beautiful body that I think it just looks amazing. That's gonna do it for this video on Puppy. I'm brand new to YouTube, so any way you can support this would be amazing. Subscribe, like the video, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Check out SB Fakemon on Instagram. It'll be in the description. They make amazing artwork, so they deserve a follow at least. And let me know in the comments what you would evolve your puppy into, which puppy Lucian you like the most, and which one you like the least. Let me know when you liked or didn't. I love all that stuff. Thank y'all so much. Bye.